Hello guys, I'm Ryan the Right here. And I'm Jerry the Jerry. Wow, noise. Beyond Sorry. noise while we're filming. <laughs> Thanks, Andrea. We hit 300k subscribers like an hour ago. We did, we so did. So we're Keeping here today to keep the train going. Yeah. Batman v Superman official trailer number dose just dropped. Every comment is about how I haven't watched this yet and why I'm an asshole for not doing that. We've been like waiting a few trailer. hours just sitting around here waiting for this trailer to drop. That's it right there. There he is. There he is. Who's that? You must be new. That is Bruce Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Clark Kent, Daily Planet. What's your position on the bat for Joanna and Gotham? He's Batman. Civil liberties are being trampled on in your city. People living in fear. He thinks he's above the law. The Daily Planet criticizing those who think they're above the law is a little hypocritical. What'd you say? Considering every time your hero saves a cat out of a tree, you read a puff piece editorial about an alien. I could burn the whole place down. Most of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. Maybe it's the Gotham City in me. We just have a bad history with freaks dressed like clowns. Boys! Mm. Bruce Wayne <laughs> meets Clark Kent. I love it. I love bringing people together. How are we? Lex. Hi, hello. Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow! Wow! That is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. <laughs> <laughs> You know the oldest lie in America, Senator? That power can be innocent. You're gonna go to war. That son of a bitch brought the war to us. You know you can't win this. It's suicide. The greatest gladiator match in the history of the world. Ooh! Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham. Syllable word for any thought too big for little minds. It's time you learn what it means to be a man. Oh. Down. If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. Well, they just reveal that he if finds out. Man won't kill God. The devil will do it. What have you done? <laughs> Is that Doomsday? Whoa, shit! <laughs> she with you? I thought she was with you. I mean, on the one hand, it's a pretty sick trailer. On the other hand, I feel like we just saw the movie. <laughs> I feel like the last minute of that trailer, like the last like 30 seconds, they just gave away like some big surprises and it kind of seemed like a parody of itself. Uh, yeah. When well, he was like, is she, is, he, is she with you? <sighs> like, I don't know what voice Ben Affleck's doing in this one. I'm watching this trailer and honestly, you know I'm psyched for this film. Still am. Yeah, yeah. But... I have my concerns. This video is gonna get so many dislikes because <laughs> I'm I, I really not like, being like everyone else right now. I really like the first two thirds of this trailer because it's all the fun yeah. shit you want to see, and then the last third, I'm like, oh good, there's all that senseless destruction I didn't like about the first movie, and you know, here is a what seems like kind of like a foregone conclusion, but a bit of a spoiler for the trailer. Gotta argue with you though that that all craziness of the fighting is with Batman and Superman. And I'm excited for that, to watch but, Batman but and so Superman many collide. so people are gonna die. Who needless. cares? Batman and Superman need to have their fight. They do, but like, that's the like whole problem with Man, of, 
But that's the that's the problem with Man of Steel is is Superman supposed to protect all these people and he just fucking kill, like so many people die in Metropolis. It's like, gonna happen. I know, and that's what Batman's so pissed off about. They're acknowledging. And before somebody comment, like I'm sure that there's other circumstances, or or maybe is that Doomsday? I, I think so. Maybe Doomsday is the one destroying the whole city, but still, it's just like I feel like it adds insult to injury to have one of these movies with so much carnage because it works against the superhero mythos in and of itself. It's you know, uh, I'm frustrated with this trailer. Gotta admit, frustrated. Um, just gonna be really honest with you guys. Like, when it starts off, I was like, really cool. This isn't about Batman versus Superman. Right now we're seeing Bruce Wayne versus Clark Kent on their ideals, their, their, on uh, their political point of views and stuff like that. Like, that's where they're already like butting heads, you know? I like that they're both distrustful of each other and eschewing the fact that they both pretty much do the same job. Yeah. <laughs> like, where do you get off, Bruce? And like, it's, it's cool that... That's your fucking job, man. It's cool that Lex brought them together, too. That is the one that I... I'm, I guess, in the minority, but I'm, I'm... Jesse Eisenberg is the thing I'm most excited for in this movie. I'm he looks like he's it. having fun. He looks like he's having a blast, and, and I'm having a and blast. And I gotta admit, now that we've seen footage where they've let the clips kind of go on a little bit longer with his with his scenes, yeah. his performance makes a lot more sense to me than when I saw prior in another trailer, you yeah. know? I'm not seeing Bruce Wayne like when I see Ben Affleck. I still see Ben Affleck. Not that that's bad. Not saying Ben Affleck's gonna do a bad to. job. But when I watch it, I'm not like, wow, he's really embodied Bruce Wayne. <laughs> like, I feel like we're it's still Ben Affleck. Not that I didn't have, like, you know, a couple nitpicks for just the scenes they showed, but I actually was kind of surprised. I think I had the opposite reaction because I've not been, like, losing my mind as much for this movie. But I was like, oh, yeah, he's... He's an all right Bruce Wayne. I'm, I'm kind of down with this. It's only a few clips, but I was I was all right. I was sort of pleasantly surprised by his Bruce Wayne because I didn't know what to expect, and I felt like, especially now at this point in his career, I'd be distracted by it. It's Ben Affleck. And I'm kind of looking for more charisma out of Henry Cavill now. Henry Cavill's kind of a because, serious dude, isn't he? Well, kind Straight of. Straight-faced, like, performance. And this, again, this might just be a nitpick, but, it, like, in that first scene of the trailer, I was like, they gave him the most cartoony glasses, yeah. and now it's calling attention, for me anyway, how sexy he is. Yeah. <laughs> and they're working, like, they're not even making him look like a dweeb now, like, so I don't know how to feel about this. I really wish they didn't put Wonder Woman, like, I wish they would have left that no, as yeah, a surprise. Okay. Like, we already know she's there. I wish we could have just discovered that moment on, her, on our own. With Zack Snyder coming on board again, I was like, okay, he did Man of Steel, which had, like, no humor. And, yeah, then, no, really. <laughs> and then I'm watching this trailer and I'm so like, confusing. it looks like he kind of learned his lesson and is infusing some humor. He's not going yeah. crazy handheld. There's some handheld in there, but it's not like... It doesn't look as much like some of his other sort of mid-period movies where like everything is a slow motion painting yeah. that looks like you should hang it on your wall. Like This looks like it's a little more concerned with just being a movie. It, dude, this trailer just ruined the tension between Batman and Superman. Yeah, I really wish they didn't show you know, them getting along at the end. Yeah, like, I, like why would you give that away? No, because I feel like we saw the movie in, in a yeah, nutshell. Yeah, okay, Batman and Superman, oh, they're going to fight each other. Uh, Lex is going to create Doomsday out of Zod. I don't know how people are going to feel about that. Like, but, that's Act 1, 2, and 3. It's like, oh, yeah. Act 1 is Bruce Wayne versus Clark Kent. Act 2 is Superman versus Batman. Act 3 is, oh, we got to team up but, for bigger evil. Exactly, and I that's such a cliche with these versus films. I know someone's going to jump in the comments and be like, why can't you just enjoy it? But I'm like, you know, we've got so many of these movies now that if you can't keep them fresh and if you cannot, you know, make them at least special every time in some way, you know, that's a problem. Yeah, because it's, it's very generic to do it that way. Like, have them verse each other, but then some bigger threat comes in, and now they're well, teaming up to... And it's like, The thing is, you, you knew that was going to happen, and I just wish we could have seen it unfold for the movie and yeah. not not have to be so aware of it in this trailer. Like, the, the way to build this movie is to hype... Batman versus Superman. Don't show them working together because then that gives us a reason to find out why. Yeah, that means you we're going to be waiting around and the whole tension between them fighting we know is going to be okay because yeah. they're going to resolve it in the end because yeah. they got to work together with Wonder Woman whose cameo they just gave away her introduction. At least it looks like her introduction. I can't believe they gave away her introduction. Yeah. I'm all for having Wonder Woman around. I, I'm, I'm a little weary that they like crammed her into this movie because they're trying to catch up to Marvel, but that would have been a real nice surprise. <laughs> I would have loved to have cheered at that moment in the tra in the theater, and maybe it'll be different, but you know, it's a bummer to know that now. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Or to see it, we already knew. But... What sucks is that 
the marketing for this movie, I felt, really just let it down. It's like, come on, take a page out of J.J. Abrams' book for one second and realize reviewing the whole movie is not cool. Secondly, because well, you what, have, like, everyone's going to see this movie anyway. Yeah, and secondly, what they revealed, did not really like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, the other part to it, is like... Because, like, like, from a marketing standpoint, it's like, you're just the title of your movie and the idea that you have a... Like, you know, you got Ben Affleck and Batman and then Lex Luthor and, and Superman. Like, people forgot how they felt about Man of Steel and got immediately excited yeah. for this movie. You don't need to convince us that hard anymore. Like, yeah, but then the information they exposed, I was, like, not really caring for that, but... And it's what, also missing, like, the, the stuff that was interesting about the original trailer with the whole, like, false god and the people. The themes. Like, yeah, yeah. The, the, the what the rest of the city yeah. is doing, you know, because that's important. In a, especially now that superhero cinema is so huge and the superhero story is problematic in terms of actual society. Yeah. I hope that's still in this movie. <laughs> and yeah. not just like cool wallpaper. I hope it's not just like con like confused tonally on what it wants to be. I mean, there are things I like about it. It's shot well. Um, it's always going to be shot well. The, the effects look cool. The costumes look cool. Jesse Eisenberg, I know, is like really split amongst how people feel about him so far. I'm getting more on board with him. And that is also for me, it's just like, I'm, I'm so happy that at least somebody is going to be fun in this movie. Yeah. Because, you know, superhero cinema now is so, so dour and so serious and gritty and important. And like, mm -hmm. it's nice to at least have some fun wallpaper. And Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne, like, even though I'm still aware it's Ben Affleck, he, I like Ben Affleck. He looks stately. I still, I, I like most of his performances of, of the last few movies he's done, you know? I don't like know, I said, man. I think the first two thirds of this trailer was wicked fun, really cool, action packed, thrilling. I was this like, yeah, I would enjoy watching this This trailer movie. just made me go, the one thing to really look forward to is the fight with Batman and Superman, but I'm kind of worried about other things now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the first trailer was like, oh, I'm actually interested, these are some cool ideas, and now this trailer I'm a little bit like, oh, all right. <laughs> well, guys, yeah. sorry to uh, disagree with you on how you felt. Um, There's definitely cool shit in there, like it looks cool, but, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, it looks cool. But there's now doubts that got infused in me <laughs> and worries and anger towards the marketing team. Anyway, guys, listen. Hey, if you're new to the channel and if you still like us, yeah. you can subscribe to The Real Rejects by clicking this button in between our heads. 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 Two heads are better than one. It's double the pleasure. Ah, it's double the, double fun. the pleasure. You I've can check out Reasons to Jerry and Dank Ass Stubbs on this channel to ultimate playlists on The Real Rejects. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Vine, and Periscope. Because if we get more followers, we can get product placement. Because money is really what makes this world go round and round. Sadly, yeah. I want everyone to hear me when I say this. I mean so truthful. Money equals happiness. No, don't teach people that. Squared. That's terrible. You know that's not true. I know for it's a fact. Babe. Babe. Veronica. Come on. Are you going to yell at me in front of everyone right now? Babe, let's just in be real. In front of all 300 Let's just be real? Let's just be real. All right. Money pays for this apartment and the new couch that I just got that you guys see in the video. You look so I think it's probably high. Do I look high? You yeah, that's going to be all the comments on this video. Ryan, you look so stoned. It's because... Um, I wanted to fly as high as Superman before I watched this so video. So I went to a very high altitude and got very lightheaded very quickly. <laughs> yeah, which... Hey, cheers to 300,000! Woo! Woo! This video's cheers. never gonna end, guys. <laughs> <laughs>